गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्री एयर डिलीवरी व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द रेस्पिरेटरी एयर कंप्रेसर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ एक्चुअल इंडिकेटर डायग्राम ऑफ सिंगल स्टेज सिंगल एक्टिंग रेस्पिरेटरी कंप्रेसर इन लास्ट क्लास और इन अर्लियर क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द आइडियल और वी कैन से द थियोरेटिकल आइडियल indicative diagram which is pv diagram in this class we discuss about the actual what is the actual the so basically it is difference in the case of suction c that is the line that is known as atmospheric pressure line p atm 1.01325 pressure as we know that that is the suction the suction takes place generally is less than the atmospheric pressure as we know that from the basic mechanical engineering concept in a case of indian cylinder where the suction is there when where the suction is takes place means it is the below the atmospheric pressure inside the cylinder the pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure little bit change suppose it is a 0.94 0.90 bar as compared to atmospheric pressure 1.01325 bar little bit changes this line shows that that is the suction and this is a compression that is the same as ideal and from 2 to 3 suppose the this type of compressor it air is delivered at 10 bar so the actual pressure is 10.5 bar or 11 bar that is the delivery pressure so that is the changes that is the changes as we shown in the diagram the delivery pressure is more than the this is not constant actually it is not constant but in case of ideal these are linear state these linear state but in actual practice the pressure is suction pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure or delivery pressure is the little bit more as the delivery pressure but in case of actual practice there is some changes is there okay so now the new concept comes free air delivery free air delivery is related to this that's why i am before explain this type so free air delivery is nothing but it is the capacity of air compressor first remember thing it is a capacity of air compressor so volume of compressed air corresponding to atmospheric condition atmospheric condition mein kitna volume of air is compressed kar liya that is known as free air delivery and it is measured in meter cube per minute as we know that it is the rate of flow of volume meter cube per minute ek minute mein kitna meter cube of air compress kar raha hai basically it is a comparison of at actual practice actual condition to the ambient condition so let us assume one is the actual condition as we know that in actual condition the pressure and temperature generally less than or different from the ideal condition or ambient condition let a is the ambient condition so as we consider the p atm is the 1.01325 bar that is a atm condition or a ambient condition in actual condition generally less than that of that okay so using property relation we know that pv equals to mrt so pa va equals to ta va is the actual volume of air which is delivered by the compressor p1 v1 minus v4 that is your effective shaft volume mm -hmm. as i already told you divided by t1 t1 is the actual condition actual temperature p1 is the actual pressure which is less than the atmospheric pressure pa atmospheric pressure so from we can calculate the fad actual volume of air which is delivered which is very simple we are arranging them okay now efficiency of volumetric efficiency of at free air delivery at free air delivery what is the volumetric efficiency so this is nothing but is the actual volume of air to the swept volume as we know that in earlier class we had discussed about in case of reciprocating air compressor the actual volume the actual volume of compressor is less than the swept volume as we know that some of some amount of air which is hidden in the clearance space so basically it reduces the suction capacity so that is the suction capacity and the actual volume so actual volume is generally less than the swept volume so efficiency again as you know that v actual by v corresponding so v actual by v1 minus vc v actual v actual that is according to free air delivery put this value and rearranging them this is the formula for volumetric efficiency as i already told you when we solve it that comes volumetric efficiency nothing but p1 by pa ta by t1 1 plus c minus c p2 by p1 1 by n that is the end of this lecture and also the end of this unit okay thank you